already be um, cloud makeup. I'll do my best to copy the look. But of course, I have my own twists and turns. <laughs> I have my own version. If I can copy actually. So, um, watch the video and see if my makeup is more or less similar to Cardi's makeup in her music video. Enough talking. Now, first shade is this one. This very light orange. I'll make this as my transition shade. This is from NYX palette. I'm not sure what this, which palette is this one. Brights. From Brights palette. I have always been using this in my video. So, use this shade as your transition shade. that I'm going to use is a deeper shade of orange this one this is from makeup revolution from makeup revolution palette hold on I'm gonna start here and then now get a clean brush to blend everything, the lighter shade of orange and the darker one. Now, it's time to cut the crease. I've done the other side, so the hard part is, uh, I think, this one. So I've done my right side. I'm gonna do my left side, and good luck to me <laughs> if this wing crease will the balance off just make sure that the edges are clean and then that's it we are going to cut the crease i'm gonna use this angled brush this is a paint brush this is actually not a makeup brush i find this one um more no i find this one easier to use than the makeup brush i don't know it's just me so now let's cut the crease. So to make sure that you won't, you know, miss your um highest the highest point of your eyes, you have to create a dot. Hold on. Open your eyes wide because in this case I have a I have hooded eyes. So I have to open my eyes wide. Mark the highest point when my eyes are open so this is the top corner of my crease <laughs> because you know sometimes when you create a crease you look down and then you open up you end up messing your entire eyeshadow because the concealer goes all over the place by the way I'm using a concealer to cut my crease <sighs> I'm done cutting my crease as you can see so I let it dry for a while and wait now um, the creasing I mean the concealer is dry I'd like to apply I like to finish I'd like to finish the center in um, wait in somebody white shade white shade in the middle of your in the middle <laughs> wait um so a while ago i tried to use brush for this one a flat angled brush but then it didn't work for me so i tried this one and it did a job so yeah it, it really depends on you on which brush you're comfortable with or this one i don't know how to, uh, how do you call this one but um yeah intindihin na lang ha <laughs> so 
So, there you go. The white part is done. So, if you notice, I, it's not visible. But there's some creasing here. In my... In this side, there's some creasing because I put the eyeshadow while the concealer is still wet. And I didn't like the quality of the concealer, but that's for another video. Anyway, we will apply next is we will apply the yellow here in the edge of your eyes. Now mag apply na ako ng yellow shadow. from NYX. So now you can use a clean brush to diffuse the yellow and the white together. So, um, blend them in circular motion. So there. I think I blended everything properly. Here, I see, still see this sharp. I used this yellow. Hold on. This light yellow. And then, I um, put this on top of this light yellow. So, there you go. It's perfectly blended, I think. And then see these um, white marks here for the uh, from creasing. Um, you can use this one just to soften, soften these lines here, and it's too, it's too sharp for me. I don't know with you, but uh, I just want to. Fix this up here. So, here I've made a pattern or a guide for my wing um, liner. So, I'm gonna continue this one using this um, eyeliner pen. I'm going to curl my lashes. Uh, the wing eyeliner is done. I'm going to curl my lashes again. matter with the fall with this falsies it seemed off this side I think I have to throw this one now I'm going to put something like a silver color here in my in the middle of my eyes I'm gonna use um mercury retrograde from Huda Beauty in the shade of super moon I had put the primer on and then I'll just blend this better again this one the beauty blender the sponge blender I've 
the way, I'm using this um, Remel twin Remel Comfort with Comfort Serum. Ah, this has serum, and then it is um in shade 303 True Nude Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation from Remel. Now I'm gonna do the contouring. I'm using MAC in the shade C98 Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Natural. white um, eyeliner glide liner white from Sephora now it's time for the blush on mm. I'm gonna use the shade from Remel the one on top this one actually you know what I'll just mix it with this color so this and this I can mix this It's time for the highlighter. I'm using Master Chrome in my, in, from Maybelline. The shade is Molten Gold 100. So you see, I'm done putting my um, very light colored lip liner. I'm using Flormar waterproof liner number two to six. So as you can see here, so that you will have a closer look on how I did my eyes first. See? Mm. Nah. And then... We are in our final stage. We are in our finishing touch. Um, so now I'm gonna put a highlight in my lips using um, where is that brush? Using the shade that I put earlier here, the corners of my eyes. So I'm using Super Moon again from um Mercury Retrograde. This is an eyeshadow, but I I'll use it as a highlighter. So here's our final look for today. I hope you like this, guys. Well, originally I planned to make it look or recreate Cardi B's clout makeup in her music video. But I don't think I recreated it 
exactly as it is. This is my own version. I think I did pretty well. I did a decent job actually, yeah? I think this looks fine. I did well. But anyway, thanks for watching. So see you again for our next um, makeup session. Stay pretty as always. Bye.